what we got here is a piece of yucca. We use this as my hearth board. It's been used before, once or twice. This is a piece I picked up. I was walking. It was sticking out there, calling to me. I used it yesterday to make a fire. I'm gonna try to make a fire again today. All right. So first thing you got to do, seat your spindle. So I'm gonna take this rock. Make myself a small indention right there. Good enough. I need a leaf or a piece of paper. Or a piece of wood like this. First thing we got to do is give ourselves a little burn in. I can't do this sitting down. I've tried and tried and tried. Lots of people can. I can't. Now here's my indention. All right, you can see it's not quite far enough in there yet. It's a little odd shape, but that's okay as long as we get our general dimensions right. That makes it too odd shape. Turn your rock around. I have several different rocks I use for this. This is the first time I've tried this particular one. I found it in a field somewhere. You can see it's still got patina and dirt on it. I don't remember where I found it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is an actual artifact. Today it's an option making tool. should intrude about a third of the way into your circle and where it intrudes should be about as third as wide as the circle. All right, let's have a go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well.
get a little smoke. Hopefully you can see my notch is filled now. Whew. Take a second to breathe. Whew. Might even have to take off some of these clothes. The temperature's dropping out here as the front moving through. It's raining. And I got another skin to brain and uh, work dry. See, just how damn exhausting that is. Always prepare your materials ahead of time. Here I have a bundle of dried grass. Make a nice little bird nest. And drop our ember in there. Very gently, try to keep it all together. Beautiful. Now we got some kindling. I'm actually going to use fat lighter. Everything's wet, I need to get this thing going. It's going to get really smoky in here. Going to the fireplace with this. Probably not going to use this chunk. Just going to use these three little splinters to show you just how little it takes to actually make a fire. Let's see where we're at here. We got wet twigs from outside. 
Been rained on all night. You'll see in just a minute. That fat lighter will even get wet kindling burning. Use that wet kindling to light constantly bigger and bigger sticks until we achieve the big fire that we're looking for. I gotta get things dried out in here, warmed up so I can dry out a skin while I'm working in brains. So that's what we're doing today. Alright, it's been going on uh, for 11 minutes now. I'm going to cut away and we'll come back as this is, uh got going pretty good.